Hello everyone, I'm Siv the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another Oblivion tutorial, and I haven't made one of these in forever, I know. But today we're going to talk about how to make a better thief in Oblivion. Now the thief in Oblivion, I've, I remember, I'm remembering it vaguely, I, I don't touch the pre-made classes at all, but I remember it being pretty bad for a thief, so we're going to make a better thief. First of all, before you even touch the class, pick a Wood Elf or a Khajiit, or even an Argonian. Those are kind of the best thieves. Um, I mean, they're, they're all sneaky, basically. You're just, just sneak. That's all you need for a thief, right? But anyway, your two skills are going to be agility and speed. That pairs well with your sign, which is going to be the thief, obviously. I mean, if you're making a thief, you got to pick the thief, right? Just a, You're just building a crap ton of agility and speed for this character, because you're going to steal stuff. And you're going to have a stealth focus on this character. Basically a stealth focus. I mean, it's, I mean, it's the stealthiest character ever, right? I mean... I think, technically, if you made a proper thief, it would be more stealthier than an assassin, because an assassin sometimes wears armor. Your skills are going to be sneak, acrobatics, marksman, illusion, mysticism, merchantile, and alchemy. And we're going to start off by saying, join the Thieves Guild. Because to be a thief, you need to join the Thieves Guild. So get yourself arrested by, like, punching someone in the nuts or something, and then... The lady will give you the note, you can join the Thieves Guild. Why do you need to be in the Thieves Guild? Because you need to be able to sell stolen things. Now, if you want to make money before you go in the Thieves Guild, you're going to go into food stores and alchemy stores and steal stuff and make potions, because Oblivion has this thing. If you steal ingredients, but you make a potion out of them, the potion is the item you have, not the ingredients, and it is not a stolen potion. So, steal alchemy ingredients and make potions. That's pretty much what you're going to do without the Thieves' Guild. If you're in the Thieves' Guild, I mean, you're in the Thieves' Guild. I mean, you can sell whatever you want. Basically, the thief lives by the code. Steal everything, sell everything, and run from combat. This character does not have any combat skills. Unless, I mean, Marksman, we'll get to that in a little bit. Why you have Marksman specifically. But your character doesn't have a lot of combat skills. Taking on one or two enemies in case of combat, that's what you have the bow for. You also have the bow, by the way, to shoot down valuable items if you need to get them. And also to kill someone if you need to. Because of the acrobatics that you're going to need to avoid some people while sneaking, you have marksmen because you also need to be able to snipe people from long away, long distance away. I mean, like, think of Bruma, right? In Bruma, you can jump on chandeliers and hide on top of, like, in inside the houses in unreachable areas, and the guards can't arrest you, and you can kill the people in the house if you need to. I mean, you're not an assassin, so, you know, and, and you need to be able to dodge, too. And the bow offers great dodging capabilities against other bows. Illusion and mysticism are for easier stealing. Illusion offers you the ability to coerce people, to calm them down, to make them your friend... All that stuff. If they're your friend, you can actually hold the block button and stop combat. So if you steal something or accidentally hit them, just stop them from hating you. Or calm them down. I mean, you could... I don't remember which skill it has, but paralyzation is a big feature you might be able to pull off as well. And mysticism is for telekinesis. I love telekinesis when I steal just because it's a fun skill. It, it makes the game less boring because stealing stuff is very boring because it's very methodical. And telekinesis can offer some fun when you're stealing. It's great. I love it. I love... I like making a thief that steals things in random ways. And simply sneaking up and stealing something isn't fun. Maybe you put a bucket over someone's head or you telekinesis something towards you. All those things are fun things to do. And I prefer to use them over wait till the person sleeps and steal all their stuff. Or kill the person, get their house key, and steal their stuff. Really, I don't think you need to have any other tips for being a thief. I mean, a thief does stealing. That's what they do. Just avoid combat at all costs. Get the skeleton key when you can as well. That's going to help you out a lot because you're not going to have to buy lockpicks. Now, there's a character... If you leave the west entrance to the Imperial City, which is the entrance with the big large bridge, and you head along the wall at one of the little, like, alcove, like, inside, like, you know the wall has the, the towers, and then it goes, like, 
I, this is gonna be really bad. There's like the towers, and it goes inside all the towers. Like if you just go out the gate and you follow the wall, you'll find a guy named Shady Sam. He always sells lockpicks and poisons, and different kinds of potions and illegal alcohol. So you can always talk to Shady Sam if you need lockpicks. But yeah, definitely get the skeleton key. And that's it. I mean, there's nothing more to a thief than being able to steal stuff in every different way possible. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad at pickpocketing and stealing as you. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog. Whatever I decide to make.